Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you get started creating a database. So first of all, I'm on the opening screen and I've got the blank database option there. Click on that just once because you have to name your database before you get started. So let's name it. Let's call this one training. And then just create and then it will create a table for you. Now what you have in a database is you have objects, database objects, which normally sit down this left hand side. You start with tables, you have queries, you have forms, you have reports and macros and modules. These are the database objects. Now you've got a little arrow at the top there that you can have different options displayed if you so wish. So at the moment it's an object type and it's got one table ready for you to go. Now basically this setup is allowing you to click on one of these data types. So if you wanted a text field, that's one, that one, a number field, a currency field, a date field, etc. You can utilize this. The problem I have with this is that you have to then type a title at the top there. So I'll just click on that one. See there, look, I have to name it now. And I don't like doing that. So what I recommend people do is not do. Go to the create tab on the ribbon and then you can do table design. So that would be the same thing I've just shown you. Table design, though, gives you the structure of the table and allows you to select the data types. So if I go um, customer as a first one, customer ID. Now I want this to be an automatic number. So if you drop this list down, you can see all these different options. If I go automatic number or also number, it will increment every time I add a new customer. I also want that to be unique. So I'm going to highlight that one and just click on this primary key symbol. That means I can't have that duplicated. And then I'm going to have customer, customer name and then address then city and postcode and then date joined for example just so you get an idea now that date joined is a date time field so you set in this view all the different types of data you might have in your database and if i drop this arrow down you can see there's quite a lot short text is 255 characters now, if you leave that on 255 characters, it will allocate that whether you use them or not. So, for example, the customer name might well be less than that. Let's go for 100. And then click away from that. You probably need to do that with all of these. Date time, you've got the option of doing what's called an input mask where you can force people by clicking on these three ellipses on the end there to enter a date in a specific way. Now, before I do that, it's going to ask me to save the table. So I'll click on save. Table qualifier is TBL and I'll call it customers. Click OK to that. And then I can click on these three ellipses, which will allow me to put an input mask on. I'll do that one. And you can click in there to see it. Just go finish and it'll sit down there. Save that again. And have a look at what this is going to look like. So basically, these are the column headings and the data that goes in each of these columns. This description area, which says optional, it is optional. But if you've got anything that's not obvious in this list, you should describe it in this side. Once you're happy, you can click on view and you'll see it like that. So I'll just open that one up a little bit. So if I go customer name, so if I just go Bob IT address one red. Road, city, leads, etc., like that. LS11ER. Date joined today. Control semicolon for today's date. Press your tab key to come onto the next record. So this will be catch it. And then this can be two red road. Two, not possibly. Two. And then tab off that, that can be leads as well. LS2. And then they can have joined today as well. 
And that's all you do, you fill it in, you fill the table in. Now if I close that down for a minute, it's going me to save the fact that I widened that column, not the data. You don't have to save the data, but I'll, I will say yes. So that's the first object. Now I want to create a query. Click on query. Query design. When you're going to query design, you need to add the table. You can do it from there or from this side. Now to add all the fields, you just basically double click at the top. Everything goes pink. It won't always be pink, it depends what your colour scheme is. Drag and drop that into this grid at the bottom, and then you can ask for some information. So a criteria underneath the city, I'm going to go Leeds. I want to see everybody in Leeds, that's everybody. So if I'd run that query, it shows me those two records. QRY, I'll just call it QRY Leeds. And then you've got a query, that's your second object. Now the third object I want to create is a form. So I'm going to click on that table, create form. And it automatically creates a form and it's in layout view, which means you can just basically resize these things if you want to make them smaller. And then you click into form view and you're ready to go. Now down the bottom there, you've got a little asterisk symbol for new record, or you can do new record at the top there. And it gives you a blank one so i'll call this one um fix it that's a customer that's my tab key he lives at three or they live at three red road and then i'm going to do a different city i'll put bradford and that'll be bd two two three f and they joined 21 see i'm typing that Input mass is coming in 08 20 21. Press tab to come off that record. You must press tab to come off that record, and then you're ready to do a new one. So if I close that one down, I'm going to put FRM in front of that. So it's a form that's looking at the table customers. FRM. Now, if I go back, I go okay to that. Go back to the query. Query is showing me leads, just leads. So the actual table has now got three records in because I added that one for, for, for Bradford and I did that through this form. That's what you do. This is just an input mechanism to populate tables or queries. Now the other feature I haven't looked at yet is reports. So the output of a database is reports. Although some people print off forms, some people just print off this, which is like a spreadsheet, it's, that's okay. But I'm gonna create a report. So again, I'm going to select the one I want, which is that query. Create, I'll go for a report wizard. Um, I'll just go for a, a straightforward report. I won't go through the wizard. Now these always look terrible when you first do them and you do have to do quite a bit of um, tweaking around, but this is how access works. If I close this down, and then just go in and then put RPT, RPT. So don't be put off by the look of this because that is totally customizable. Okay. So at the moment that is looking at that query and that query is looking at leads. If I add a new person, I'll do it through the form. So I'll go new record down the bottom there. And I'll call that sorted. I'm good with names, sorted. And he lives at three, Red Road, Newcastle. No, I'll do leads. I'll do leads. And LS21 started. I'll join today. Pressing tab. Closing the form. So now there's three records for leads. If I open the table, three leads. Is. Close that. Open the query. There's the three. Picks them up. Open the report. There's the three. Picks them up. So there's all four objects, tables, queries, forms, and reports. The only one, other one I haven't looked at is a macro. You can record a macro to do, not record a macro, create a macro to do multiple things. So what I'll do is I'll create a blank form, first off, form design. So I've got a form design. I'm just gonna save this form as main menu. 
so you get the idea main menu and then I'll just leave it there for a minute because I'm going to create a macro just to show you how that works so macro so I want to type open and it's coming up with open form and then you have to basically tell it which form to open there's only one form really apart from main menu so that it's going to open that I'm going to leave all that as it is I'm just going to save this save MCR open customers so it's just a, a macro to open customers and now close that down you see it sitting there in the object window now I'm going to draw a, a command button just make it really big bigger than it needs to be gives you this wizard um, macros are under miscellaneous so I'll click on there run macro follow it through there's only one next and I'll just put in there open customers and then finish save this form have a look and then basically you click that it'll run this macro which will open that form this form click there you go opens that form now you can create a macro that will do that and then close main menu down there's lots of steps you can do in a macro very good useful but this is just a very quick overview of what you can create in Access just for beginners getting yourself going. So we've got table, you interrogate the table through a query, you input data into the table through a form, you produce a report, and the macro just automates processes. That's all that's all it is. And then you build on that. So in the next section, I'll show you how you can create multiple tables. And how you can link them together and then create queries that are looking at multiple reports, etc., etc., and forms that are inputting data into multiple tables, etc., and then reports doing the same sort of thing. And macros to automate everything. It's usually the last thing you do. Once you've got all your database working and you're happy with the queries and things, you do macros to automate things and make it all nice and neat. That's all I want to talk about for this little session. Hopefully, it's of use. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.